Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Ellie and I'm a Space Systems Optimization Engineer currently and I've just finished my Masters at the University of Cambridge where I studied Part 3 of the Mathematical Tripos. So it is 2023 and with that one of my goals was to film more videos, get some videos out there about Cambridge, about my life, about my new exciting job that's going on and today I thought I would mix it up and get a special guest on the show who will not be showing her face because she is camera shy. My special guest is Louise who you may have seen in some of my other videos who is here <laughs> laughing at me apparently so she's going to be asking me some exciting questions. All that's left to say is please give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. I'm planning on releasing a whole range of different videos this year so yeah subscribe to stay up to date with all of those. Let's start with some questions. I'm nervous. Why did you choose maths? Why did I choose maths? Because I enjoy it. That's mainly the reason I took it. Funnily enough, I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I used to race motorbikes and I was planning on taking a year out after my final A-level year to go and race some European races um, and continue with the British. And I then broke my arm, uh, which I've mentioned on this channel a few times and didn't... I have, yeah, I have mentioned it a few times always, yeah. <laughs> Um, I then couldn't race so I was like what do I do so I went back to sixth form and said okay I'm going to finish off my further maths AS level because at that time I just picked up further maths in my final year because I didn't know that I was going to pursue it and then during that year I had some phenomenal further maths teachers really enjoyed it yeah then was like I'm going to go and study maths at uni just enjoy it really I think that's something I've always said on this channel is if you enjoy something then then pursue it. So yeah, thanks for the first question. I'm glad it was maths related. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to think of maths questions. It's hard to think of maths questions. Is that because you studied chemistry? <laughs> Why is maths important? Why is maths important? I think maths is important because it underpins everything. You know, maths consumed my entire life at one point. And I'd look for like patterns in nature and be like, oh yeah, that, that relates to maths and stuff like that. So I think Maths, je why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Is it because I'm a nerd? <laughs> I always see kind of math mathematical patterns just daily. You know, it could be something as simple as setting an alarm in the morning, knowing how many hours of sleep you're going to get, or you know, something more advanced when you when I walk down the street and you see buildings and you know they are structured in that way so they don't they don't fall down because of maths and more I guess it's guess advanced doing maths in in my job but yeah gen generally it just underpins everything and I think it's important to to understand the basic level of maths and for me I really enjoy it so yeah I think maths is fun yeah. <laughs> I am a nerd yeah what do I think about the fact that now students have to study maths until they're 18. For those of you that don't know, Rishi Sunak, our current prime minister, has said that he thinks students should learn maths until the, you know, until the end of their A-levels, so until they're 18. I think this is, you know, for me, if I was, you know, say, say if I hated maths and I'd gone into A-level and someone had said to me, you have to study maths until, until the end of A-level, it would have made my learning so much more difficult. If you don't enjoy something and, and you know you won't enjoy something, there's no point in being pushed to enjoy it um, and pushed to learn it because you, you're just generally not going to do well at it and it's going to dampen your learning experience. For me, if I learn something that I don't enjoy, then I'm not enthused by it and I have no interest in it. And I think it's important to remember that education is a massive has a massive impact on the rest of our lives and to put students in a position where their education is being dampened by something that they may not enjoy, I think... I think it's terrible. On the other hand, if you absolutely love maths like I did, then I'd have been fine to have learned it. But that's not fair. You, you know, you're getting a, an unbalanced field there of people that do love it and people that don't. And it's obviously going to impact those that hate it the most. And I think it's I think it's a bit ridiculous, really. I understand, you know, everyone needs to, to get to a certain understanding of maths. But I think GCSE level is, is enough. I think adding two more years is again wasting precious educational time personally for me education is so important and if you love what you do you're going to do so much better in it so it's not fair on those people that that don't enjoy maths what's your favorite equation what's my favorite equation oh do i go for a classic and say like pythagoras or do i go for like nerdy Ellie who loves fluid dynamics and say the Navier-Stokes equations. For those of you that don't know, Navier-Stokes equations are the equations that govern like fluid dynamics 
um, and there has been no solution found to them yet. It's one of the millennial prize problems, so if any of you fancy solving them, you can get a million pounds for doing that. The amount of time you spend trying to solve it is the option of mercy. Yeah, I mean, if they did prove, if they did manage to solve it, that would be ridiculous. Like, the whole world of maths would change. It was quite funny in uni, we'd be like, here are the Navier-Stokes equations, here are like the equations of fluid motion, and then we're gonna gonna just assume all of these simplifications so that like certain so we could just make this term to zero this term to zero and then solve like a really simplistic um form of it which is really fun and same again uh, on my master's so yeah favorite equation uh navier stokes equation but you can't beat a good like pythagoras equation sometimes i think that when i'm on my walk to work i'm like if i just go this way it's actually quicker anyway so what you're saying is you're a nerd i am a nerd yes I honestly don't, like, I, when I went to Cambridge, I was like, most people here, their entire personality is maths, but I like to think that mine isn't just maths, and I have other things as well, but I, the more I talk in this video, the more I realise I am just a massive nerd. Maybe your channel needs a rebrand. <laughs> my channel needs a rebrand, yeah. My favourite mathematical symbol, I'm just going to do my favourite, like, it's like, a, it's a Greek letter. Which do I enjoy writing them? I enjoy the chi that's like an X. Oh, it's, because it, it has a nice tail to it. No. What was the other one? It was like, I think it's a, a sigh where it's like a... Anyway, this, this will be back to front. Let, let me try it that, that way. I don't know. Anyway, what other symbols do I like? I like a good plus sign. Oh, I like a good like nabla for like the delta. Yeah. Do you know, I just love writing maths. I remember being on a train once and I had my iPad and I was like writing solutions to my like, astrophysical fluid dynamics paper. And I had like these two women each side of me and they were looking at me and they're like, what is she writing? But they're thinking, gosh, she's not very good at Greek. Yeah. yeah. What's my next question? Is maths a toxic subject at uni? Ooh. Mm. I don't know. I think, honestly, like by, by the time I got to my master's level, everybody there just loved maths. So you kind of could just have a chat with someone and have like a re like a really nice chat with somebody. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. You'd either get those people that took it at uni because they didn't know what else to take and then absolutely hated it, so they just were like couldn't be bothered to be in lectures. And then you'd get like those people in the middle that were like, yeah, like I'm alright, I don't mind my degree. And then you get those that were very invested. And by the time I got to my masters, I was surrounded by all those people because everybody that studies part three genuinely like is obsessed with maths. It could be at times, but generally no. I enjoyed like nerding out with maths people. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just a bit of a nerd really, aren't I? Anyway, next question. We're gonna have an interlude. What's this? I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see. <laughs> I don't, I, Louise, I haven't done geometry it's since first year of uni. No, I can't do this. No, if you gave me some fluids, I could do fluids, but this is like... This is a GCSE paper question. Oh, God, well, this is going to be embarrassing then, isn't it? Is the answer, like, two? Hey, uh, yeah, Louise, you haven't drawn this to scale. Why would I draw it to scale? That's so silly. You should have put not to scale, because that confused me. Given that MPN... MPN is not a straight line on this diagram, Louise. It's like a, it's like a quadratic... I'll I'll be back. Can you pause my cam can you pause my camera? I've not done geometry since like first year of uni, but it was fun. I enjoyed it and I got the right answer. Two fifths. It's one of the most difficult vector questions that have been seen in GCSE. And I got it right. <sighs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> I studied maths at Cambridge and this was bloody harder. Back to the questions, that was fun, I enjoyed that. If you went down a finance route, what would you have chosen? If I went down a finance route, what would I have chosen? For those of you that know me, know that if I'm going to do a job, then I want to enjoy it. And for me, finance is not something that I enjoy really at all. So can I say like data analytics or something like that? Yeah, is that finance? You don't count any. What? Give me some examples, like accountancy, yeah. investment banking. Oh yeah. I would do investment banking just to get rich. <laughs> get some money. Yeah, if I already hate my job. I might as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I hate, if I, if I already hate my job, I might as well get a ton of money doing it. I'm not gonna hate my life too. <laughs> What's your favourite coding language? 
My favourite coding language? Ooh, nice question. My favourite coding language is Python. For those of you that don't know, I have a coding channel which is called Code of the Future and I'll put a link in the description and I basically just teach people how to code. It was something that I started after lockdown and it's grown quite crazy, like it's grown bigger than this channel and I've had a lot of fun with it, had a lot of really positive feedback. Yeah, just really enjoyed teaching people how to code. So my favourite programming language is Python, I teach Python on there. I have been learning other programming languages, like in my job I've been working a lot with um, electronics and hardware software, so in my job I've been spending a lot of time working in C++ um, as part of- Stop distracting me! Show, show them what you've done. <laughs> she made an elephant out of my tripod. It's really cute. But yeah, so I've been learning C++ at work and that's been working with Arduinos, which are like mini computers type thing. So doing some electronics with that and that has been really fun. So yeah, I don't know. Python's my favourite because I've done the most with Python. But thank you for your question, Louise. That was a good one. Deviating away from the maths. How many sisters do you have? No, I'm not asking. I'm not answering personal questions. That's what people want to know. No, nobody. When I put my Q&A on my, on my Instagram... People just asked maths questions, that's all I got. No one cared about me. They uh. just cared about maths. <laughs> <laughs> Rank my top three maths films. Top four. Okay, so Hidden Figures. Amazing film. I've read Katherine Johnson's autobiography. Incredible. Would recommend anyone else to read it. Smash or pass. No, we're not doing Smash or Pass. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Probably then, like, The Man Who Knew Infinity. Incredible film like incredible talks about um Ramanujan the Indian mathematician set in Cambridge incredible then probably Good Will Hunting then Gifted they're like my main maths films that I've watched I think they're the only maths films I've watched there's a lot that I haven't watched if you have any recommendations for maths films then uh, comment down below because I might do a like ranking maths films or like here are some maths films you need to watch because I went through a phase of just being obsessed with maths films and just watching maths all the time and Brian rank, Cox. Rank, space rank space films. I'm I'm a fake fan, honestly. I've barely watched anything. I really I like Interstellar. I like you don't Martian. Watch Star Wars everyone. I haven't watched Star Wars. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. I'm so sorry. I will I will get round to watching it. I'm gonna read some space and maths books, and then I'm gonna do some videos on it. So, yeah, I'm trying to think of like adventurous ideas away from just Cambridge. I don't know how well the question how well i answered the questions this is going to be chaotic for me to edit but anyway yeah i hope you enjoyed the video if you did then please like subscribe and comment check out all my social media links they'll be in the description thank you for watching and i'll see you all in the next one